Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Pearson, your elementary ELL teacher. Today we're going to go over the oral and written retell for the second grade journeys lesson 29 and the folktale Two of Everything by Lily Toy Hong. So in this lesson, we're going to do our modified turn and talk routine where I ask you a question and give you a sentence frame and then you think about your answer. You pair up with a partner if you have a partner at home or you can be my virtual partner and then you share your thinking out loud in a complete sentence using the sentence frame I gave you. So let's review our vocabulary words because when we retell the story we're going to use some of the targeted vocabulary words. Number one, search, look carefully, look for something, search. So after I say it, say it after me or read it along with me. Number two, contained, kept inside, held inside, contained. Number three, startled, shocked, surprised, startled. Number four, odd, strange, unusual, odd. Number five, leaned, bent body in that direction, bent, leaned. Number six, tossed, threw it softly, threw, tossed. Number seven, grateful, thankful and pleased, grateful. Number eight, village, group of homes, a community, village. So in, in the story for this lesson, Two of Everything. Two of Everything is a folk tale. And here is a general definition of a folk tale. No one specific author told for a long time by a group of people, ordinary characters who live ordinary lives and have something extraordinary happen to them. Another example of folk tales is stories that have been told orally from generation to generation. And folk tales often have a moral. A moral is a lesson about life that a fable teaches. The moral can usually be found at the end of the story. So here's our learning target. I can Retell the folktale, two of everything, with my partner using pictures, words, and sentences. So repeat after me. I can retell the folktale, two of everything, with my partner using pictures, words, and sentences. Success criteria. That means how will you know you're successful in retelling the folktale two of everything. Well, here is our roadmap for success. So just like as these people are climbing this mountain, the goal is to get to the top of the mountain. So this is our uh, goal is to get to the top of this lesson. And I will, number one, answer the talk about it questions. I will say and match the main characters and setting. And don't worry, we'll do this together. Number three, I will write or match the lesson or moral of the story. And four, I will put the retelling pictures in the correct sequence. And number five, I will write or match the sentences to each picture, saying what happened first, later, last. So again, I'll lead you through all of these steps so that we may be successful in retelling the folktale two of everything. But first, let's go over our turn and talk rules. If you have a partner at home, number one, make sure you're eye to eye and knee to knee facing each other. If I'm your partner, I may be the first person to talk. So first one person talks, the other person listens. Three, then the next person talks, the other person listens. Or do not talk too long on your turn or your partner will not have time to have a turn. And when you are speaking with your partner or to me virtually, you can either agree 
And if you agree with me or your partner, you can say, I agree with you because, and tell me why, or I disagree. I disagree with you because, and say why. So here's our first main event in the folktale, two of everything. And if you were to reread pages 488 to 489, you could find the answers to these two questions. So look closely at the picture, think about it. Who is in the picture? Where are they? And what is happening? So the first question is, describe the way Mr. and Mrs. Hacktack live. Describe the way Mr. and Mrs. Hacktack live. So you can say they are and they live. So describe the way Mr. and Mrs. Hacktack live. They are and they live and finish your thought. Well, I remember from the folktale, they are very simple, poor people, and they live in the country, and they are very poor. Um, number two, where do they get their food? What does Mr. Hacktack do with the extra food? So think about that. Where are they in the picture? So where do they get their food, and what does Mr. Hacktack do with the extra food? So you could say in a complete sentence, they get their food from, and finish the thought, Mr. Hacktack uses the extra food. So think about that. They get their food from, and Mr. Hacktack uses the extra food. So again, if you look closely in this picture, they get their food from a garden. And Mr. Hacktack uses the extra food to take to the village and trade for clothes or oil. Number two, our next major event. Look closely at the picture, think about it. Who is in the picture? What is happening? And where is the character? So you could find out more about this if you reread pages 321 to 324 in the Journeys textbook. And here's your first question. What does Mr. Hacktack discover one day while digging in his garden? What does Mr. Hacktack discover one day while digging in his garden? So answer it in a complete sentence by saying, he discovers well, he discovers an old ancient brass pot as he's digging in the garden. And the second question, do you think the object has been there for a long time? Why or why not? So you could say, I think it has or it has not been there for a long time because, so think about it. I think it has been there for a long time because, or I think it has not been there for a long time because, and tell me why. Well, I think it has been there for a long time because the story described it as an ancient brass pot. And if you're ancient, that means you're very, very old, ancient from a long time ago. Next main event, look closely at who is in the picture, who are the characters, where are they, what is the setting? and what is happening. So if you were to go to your journey's textbook, you could reread pages 492 to 493 to answer the two questions I have here. What do Mrs. and Mr. Hacktack discover about the pot? How can the pot help them? 
So the first question is, what do they discover about the pot? And how can the pot help them? So answer the question in complete sentences saying, they discover and the pot can help them because, so think about that. What do they discover about the pot and how can it help them? They discover and the pot can help them because Well, if you looked closely at the picture, Miss, Mrs. Hacktack is holding two hairpins and two purses. So Miss, they discover that whatever they put into the pot, it doubles. So Mr. Hacktack threw the purse, tossed it into the pot, and out came another purse. So it doubled. Now they have two purses. And uh, Mrs. Hacktack, her hairpin fell into the pot and it doubled and out came two. And that's when she also discovered the, the two purses. So the pot can help them because whatever they put in, two, two will come out, it will double. So if they were to put in five gold coins, 10 gold coins would come out. If they were to put in 10 gold coins, 20 gold coins would come out. So your second question is, what would you do if you had a pot like Mr. and Mrs. Hacktax? What would you do if you had a pot like Mr. and Mrs. Hacktax? So you can begin your thinking by saying, if I had a pot like that, I would Well, I don't know about you, but if I had a pot like that, I would put money in and then the money would double. And then I'd put that doubled money in and then it would double again. So I could make a lot of money doing it that way. So here's our last major event. Look closely at who is in the picture. Where are they? And what is happening? So you can find that out by rereading pages 496 to 501. And then if you did, you could answer questions one and two. So our first question is, describe what has happened in the picture. How did this happen? So describe what has happened in the picture and how did this happen? So first, Mrs. Hacktack, something happened to Mrs. Hacktack. Then Mr. Hacktack, something happened to Mr. Hacktack. And now what's the result? So first, Mrs. Hacktack, then Mr. Hacktack, and now. Well, if you remember, first Mrs. Hacktack falls into the pot and out pops another Mrs. Hacktack. So there's two Mrs. Hacktacks. Then Mr. Hacktack falls into the pot and out pops another Mr. Hacktack. So now they have double. They have two Mrs. Hacktacks and two Mr. Hacktacks. And now they don't know what to do. So number two, what problem does this cause for Mr. and Mrs. Hacktack? And how do they solve the problem in the end? How do, so what is the problem? And how do they solve the problem in the end? The problem is, and they solve it by, Well, if you remember, the problem is now there's, whoops, whoops, I went too far. The problem is they went, they have double the hack, Mr. and Mrs. Hack tax. That's a problem. But they solve it by letting the, the duplicated Mrs. Dur, Mr. and Mrs. Hack tax, they have, they make their own house for them. And then they live side by side. And Mrs. Hack tax said, 
the other Mrs. Hacktack can be like the sister I never had. And the other Mr. Hacktack can be like a brother to you. So then they live happily ever after together. And they live side by side and have two of everything. So now we're going to do a retell. And usually in the classroom, I have a cut and paste activity, but we will do it digitally. So up at the top, it says retell of two of everything. So up here, it says the main characters are, who are the main characters? Who did you see over and over? The main characters are Mr. and Mrs. Hacktack. So say that with me. The main characters are Mr. and Mrs. Hacktack. The setting is, where does the story mostly take place? The setting is the country in ancient China and also their little hut. So the setting is where the story takes place and it's in ancient China. So the setting is the country in ancient China. And usually in the classroom, we do the main characters, the setting, and then the lesson or moral of the story. So down at the bottom, it says, the hack tax learned, what did they learn? The hack tax learned that they need to be careful what goes into the what? The hack tax learned that they need to be careful what goes into the pot. Because whatever they put in the pot doubles. They also learned to work together and um, when they had the double Mr. and Mrs. Hacktack and they could be like brothers and sisters to them. So here we're going to put our pictures in the correct sequence, if you remember. First, first, what happened first in the story? Think about that. Who is in the picture and where are they? Then what happened? Think about what's going on in that picture. Then, and later, what happened? What did they discover? And last, what happened and how did they solve the problem? All right, so let's go back to first. First, what's going on? So you could say first, Mr. and Mrs. Hacktack lived a simple life. All their food they ate came from their garden. In a lucky year, Mr. Hacktack went to the village to trade extra food for things like clothes and oil. Then what happened? Think about that. While digging in the garden, Mr. Hacktack found an old pot. He thought it was very, it was odd that he had never seen it before. He took it home and tossed his purse into it. The purse contained five gold coins. And if you noticed, I underlined village, odd, tossed, and contained. Those are some of our vocabulary words. So later, what happened? Later, Mrs. Hacktack leaned over the pot and her hairpin fell in. When she picked it up, she discovered two pins and two purses. From there, they searched for new things to double. And last, when Mrs. Hacktack was startled, she fell into the pot. Out came a second person. Mr. Hacktack fell in too, and out came a second Mr. Hacktack. Now the other Mrs. Hacktack had her own Mr. Hacktack. So now there were two Mr. and Mrs. Hacktacks, and they learned to live together side by side in identical um, houses, and they had two of everything, and they lived happily ever after, and it was like they had a brother and a sister, but they always needed to know, they always learned that they need to be careful 
what goes into the pot. Thank you, boys and girls, for reviewing the story two of everything. Thank you and have a great day.